walking the streets of Columbus. We're heading out today, so we got our luggage with us. The team behind me. Not sure we can see everybody. You can see some of them. Heading off to uh, interview Julius Maddox. Let me get some coffee first. Here on High Street in Columbus, Ohio. Heading out to Sacramento later on today. first meet uh, the comments were uh, about my form and uh, even all those years later when I met Mikhail Kokleyev he told me he's the staff he said uh, I watched you lifts many times and every time I watch them I'm gonna fix your fucking form <laughs> <laughs> you know I know people really criticize you a lot about your form but I think you I think you had a great form you, I mean in the squat you had an unconventional style of lifting you don't have really big thick legs but you were taking advantage of a really strong thick upper body and, and strong torso yep. you stayed very upright you were super controlled like you would go down and take like five six seconds sometimes mm -hmm. but you'd come back up it'd be like you know a second or less that you come back up your bench form was good and your i think your deadlifts were they worked for you you had to get a little bit wider stance but now look you know, look at Eddie Hall and Brian Shaw. A lot of these guys are pulling over a thousand pounds with this wider stance. I think they probably stole it from you. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I think that's actually a big thing. Uh, Dave Tate's function form style. Like... Yeah, like they'll post a video of like, you know, they'll do like an athlete interview and they'll post about you know, Thor and Kelsey, and or they'll post about some of the other athletes and their significant others and stuff like that. And they get like amazing comments, like, oh my God, this is so sweet. Like, you know, it's so good to see them. And then they like post something about me and Joey. They're like, well, we don't fucking want to see that. We don't care about their sex lives. Why are they posting this dude? Like, you know, it's like, oh, but like, you know, you post a straight couple, it's totally fine. But because it's me and Joey, you suddenly have a problem with it. Um, and that's something that we deal with all the time as well. You know, it's probably, it's probably great that it's to the demographic that it's to the, as well because maybe they maybe they're resistant to it because they're not exposed to it as much and maybe that's the you know maybe that's the problem like uh even like being in like middle america maybe it's not talked about as much as being on the outskirts of america being in florida being in california being in new york you know these bigger cities uh where there's more like beaches and there's more you know, there's more people from more different areas that move to those areas because they're so nice uh, you have just a huge diversity of people. So maybe those people are already kind of used to it. You know, I live in California and in San Francisco, you know, even being around here last night, we saw some gay folks around town. I will openly admit, and I don't have any shame in admitting to you that I still, when I see it, I'm uncomfortable with it because I'm still not used to it because I'm not from California. I didn't grow up around it. Where I grew up, it was never talked about. You know, I, yeah. I didn't know anybody that was gay. I, I, our family, uh, I didn't I didn't know of anybody being gay until I got to be like mid-twenties and I found out my aunt was gay and that was my first kind of reference to it. And I was like, oh, okay, well, people are just into different things. I'm accepting of it. Yeah. Uh, but again, like just seeing two guys last night downtown kissing on the street, I, I, I can't help. I, I'm the same way when somebody uh, is, is in a wheelchair or when somebody's super tall or when someone's insanely short or someone's insanely fat like i am a flawed person where i'm yeah. like oh my god i do it with straight people kiss too so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, straight well if straight people are like making out right you're yeah, like that's anybody feel off yeah you're like what the hell's yeah. going on over there right and so uh i i don't have any problem admitting that i think that a lot of people will try to like hide that they're like i don't see color and you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And say, fuck you yeah. <laughs> yeah, thankfully you don't see color. That's why we were hired. That's right. Yeah. Holy shit! I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is uh, four forty p.m. and uh, this is meal number one. Been utilizing a bunch of intermittent fasting lately. Felt really good on this trip. I got these three patties. These things look pretty good. 
Nice and big, nice and fluffy. Didn't want to hop on the flight with uh, hunger. And uh, I think I get fed on the flight, but like what I get fed, you know, it's not always that great. And so I want to make sure I get my protein in here. And uh, that's it, flying home. Had an amazing, absolutely amazing weekend. Talking with Dave Tate and Eddie Hall, and today talking to um, World's Strongest Gay. That was fantastic. Gave us some great insight into um, misconceptions that surround um, being gay and things like that. And that, that was really, um, he just gave us some really great insight. I'll just kind of leave it at that. Um, talked to Stan the Rhino Efforting today. Uh, he always has great information about being strong and being jacked and being healthy. Um, we talked with just so many great people over this weekend. I'm really excited uh, about the future and excited about where Mark Bell's Power Project is going. Um, we've reached our numbers from last year already this year. We reached like all of what we did last year. We reached it already this year, early in March in terms of downloads. So that's been uh, insane. That's been fantastic. And gonna keep, gonna keep plowing it, gonna keep smashing it. And uh, gonna eat up these burgers, hop on the plane, and back to Sacramento. All right, I'm in Arizona now. I got two burgers going here. So I was in Columbus. And now I'm in Arizona, and uh, well, I was in Ohio, now I'm in Arizona, next I'll be in California, I'll have two patties in each, and I'll call it a day. That'll be it, that's all the eating for today. Well, that's going to be all the eating for today. in the airport, getting up those 10 minute walks, right before my flight. I pretty much woke up in the middle of the night, basically, after uh, getting home, <clears throat> and uh, made this little thing here, which is cheese, sour cream, and hard boiled eggs. It pretty much concludes my, my day of travel. Um, I had two patties in Columbus, Ohio. I had two patties in um, Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. And then uh, when I landed here, I didn't feel like stopping. So I didn't end up having two patties here. But I had, uh, right when I got home, I had some hard boiled eggs and some cheese. And then I went to bed. I slept for, I, don't even, I have no idea what time it is right now. I just woke up and I was like, shit, I'm hungry. <laughs> and so here I am. And I didn't want to eat anything that was like destructive. So I kept it clean. <laughs> A little tester that I do sometimes when I'm hungry is I say, look, if, if you can't plow through some hard boiled eggs, you're actually not hungry. That's a good tester for me because I don't even really like hard boiled eggs. You guys can see how tired I am right now. Didn't really get much sleep while I was out in Ohio. So time to make up for some lost times. Strength is never weakness. Weakness is never strength. Catch you all later. Whoopsh.